हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ फार्माकोलॉजी मिनी कैजिंग से हम कर रहे हैं और एंटी वायरल्स इस वक्त डिस्कस कर रहे हैं सो द टॉपिक टूडे इज गोइंग टू बी ड्रग्स विच आर यूज इन वायरल हैपेटाइटिस सो एजेंट्स अवेलेबल फॉर यूज इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ इन्फेक्शियस कॉजेज ऑफ हैप बी आर सप्रेसिव रादर दैन क्यूरेटिव सो लिसन टू दिस स्टेटमेंट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बहुत सारी डिजीजेज ऐसी हैं विच यू नो विच वी मैनेज रादर दैन वी क्योर और ट्रीट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड से फॉर एग्जाम्पल टेक हाइपर टेंशन दैट्स अ डिजीज विच यू मैनेज यू डू नॉट क्योर हंड्रेड परसेंट थिंक अबाउट डायबिटीज मलाइरस थिंक अबाउट मैनी ऑफ द डिजीजेज दैट वी हैव आई मीन येस आई नो इफ देर इज अ बैक्टीरियल इन्फेक्शन विच हैज गुड एंटीबायोटिक कवरेज अवेलेबल तो ये बैक्टीरिया का ट्रीटमेंट आप इसे कह सकते हैं कि दिस कैन बी अ क्यूरेटिव ट्रीटमेंट यू गिव द एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड द बैक्टीरिया इज गॉन अवे बट मेनी ऑफ द डिसऑर्डर्स इंक्लूडिंग डायबिटीज हाइपर टेंशन है बी दीज आर द थिंग्स विच स्टे देयर एंड यू मैनेज दैम यू सप्रोवाइज दैम ओके द प्राइमरी गोल ऑफ द ड्रग्स यूज फॉर इन्फेक्शन कॉज बाई हेपेटाइटिस सी वायरस हाउ एवर इज वायरल इरेडिगेशन सो दीज आर टू डिफरेंट डोमेन्स वैन वी टॉक अबाउट वायरल हेपेटाइटिस ऑब्वियसली दीज आर द टू वन हैप बी वायरस एंड हैप सी वायरस बिकॉज many of the other categories for example hepatitis a virus self limiting you don't have to do much for this one e is sometime very serious because it can lead to fulminant hepatitis full blown liver problem in pregnancy particularly but jo major burden hai that is or jo major worry hai hamari that is hepatitis b virus and hepatitis c virus also because chronic infections with these virus lead to cirrhosis and cirrhosis can lead to hepatocellular carcinoma so these are two serious serious viruses to ek ke against your treatment hai that is suppressive ek ke against your treatment hai that is eradicative the drugs available include are interferon uh, alpha lamivudine i don't like interferons by the way for a long long time these were the only options but they have huge side effects but now we have better drugs such as lamivudine adifovir dipavoxil and tecovir telbivudine tenofovir rabavirin so forth so these are latest drugs and we'll go through the pharmaco uh, you know profile of all these drugs and we'll discuss uh, some important points related to each one of them so let's begin our discussion with interferons remember we are discussing antiviral drugs okay Um, and the major focus is obviously not the antiviral the uh, hepatitis category of the antiviral antiviral is obviously a broad broad category that uh, includes herpes simplex is pe drugs jo kaam karti hain wo hum already kar chuke hain influenza is a different category so each video covers one particular category of antiviral today's video is hepatitis viruses okay and the major focus is b and c the first drug to discuss is interferon Interferons are of different categories by the way interferon gamma for example this one is interferon alpha which has been traditionally used for a long long time um is still being used unfortunately i would say because now better options are available it's a cytokine basically that act through the host cell surface receptor increasing the activity of the genus kinase so aapke cell mein aapke body mein routinely bhi produce hota hai so it's a cytokine produced by different cells of your body These enzymes phosphorylate signal transducers and activators of uh, transcription to increase the information uh, the formation of antiviral protein. So if this is your cell, uh, these factors get in ask your cell to produce antiviral things so that the viruses can be dealt with. The selective antiviral action of interferon alpha is primarily due to activation of the host cell ribonuclease that preferentially degrades viral messenger rna so interferon alpha that promote formation of natural killer cell that destroy in now ye iske additional actions hain they also promote formation of natural killer cells which are normal routine uh, you know armamentarium of your body and they destroy the infected liver cells so your liver cells are also not uh, happy with this okay and this is uh, one major side effect of uh, interferons Uh, pharmacokinetic wise there are several forms of interferon alpha with minor differences in the amino acid composition so structural differences hain absorption from the im or subcutaneous injection is slow elimination is mainly via the kidneys conventional forms of interferon alpha are usually administered daily or three times a week so depending upon the clinical condition of the patient dosages may be uh, managed pigylated forms which is uh, kind of uh, uh, you know industry may therapeutically uh, you know altered form of interferon so chemically adjusted form of interferon alpha which uh, means conjugation to polyethylene glycol 
it can be administered once a week so that's a special form a stable form rather than daily uh, you know uh, this is this is not easy to get daily administration of a drug so patients and physicians are happy if there is a formulation available which is for long term such as once a week uh, clinically it uh, is used in chronic hepatitis b virus infection as an individual agent or in combination with other drugs when used in combination with ribavirin the progression of acute HCV infection to chronic HCV infection is reduced and there is evidence there. Pigylated, which I polyethylene glycol, which is conjugation, is interferon alpha together with ribavirin is superior to the standard form of interferon alpha itself for HCV patients. Other uses of interferon alpha include treatment of Kaposi sarcoma and a few other viral infections such as genital warts. Big time GI irritation, side effect, flu like symptom, joint pain, fatigue, myalgia, these are all severe stuff. Alopecia, hearing loss, usually reversible, thyroid dysfunction, severe side effects. I mean, this is not an easy drug to handle. Okay, but that's been used, and as I told you, it's still being used. Um, interferon alpha ke baad, the next thing is a defovir dipivoxil. This is a product, a uh, pro drug for this whole thing is a pro drug for adifovir which competitively inhibits hab virus dna polymerase and results in chain termination uh, just say viral dna basically joanna is affected right pharmacokinetic and clinical usages uh, good oral bioavailability not inject i mean pichli drug mein dekh rahe there was uh, i am subcut but their good oral bioavailability However, because the drug is handled with the kidney, so dose reductions or dose adjustments are required in renal dysfunction. A defovir suppresses hepatitis B virus replication and improves liver uh, histology and fibrosis. So that's a very good thing. So it kind of uh, improves the fibrosis, which is being, you know, reversing the very, very serious fibrotic status. However, serum HBV DNA reappears after cessation of the therapy so that's kind of you know uh, suppression hoti hai time being ke liye wapis aa jata toxicity nephrotoxicity which is dose limiting jitna dose badhayenge utna kidney damage lactic acidosis is serious as well okay uh, severe hepatomegaly and steatosis may also occur so uh, i would say better tolerable than interferon alpha Next one is Antecovir. It inhibits viral uh, DNA polymerase, effective orally, undergoes renal elimination. The drug causes uh, headache, nausea, fatigue. It's a drug. Lemivudine, it's a nucleoside inhibitor of HIV, reverse transcriptase. Okay? It's also active in chronic HBV infection. Lemivudine has a longer intracellular half-life in HBV-infected cells than in HIV-infected cells. Self-explanatory statement. Hai. It's used as either monotherapy, um, actually monotherapy. Lemividine rapidly suppresses HPV replication and is remarkably non-toxic. So that's the beauty of this drug. Bahut zada, um, side effects nahi hai. So any any drug with uh, less side effect is good. The next drug that we have to discuss is ribavirin. It inhibits the replication of a wide range of DNA and RNA viruses, including influenza A and B, parainfluenza, RSV, uh, HCV, and HIV, and this is the interest uh, today. Although the precise antiviral mechanism of ribavirin is uh, not clearly understood, the drug inhibits guanosine triphosphate formation. So GTP formation is affected and capping the viral messenger RNA can block the RNA-dependent RNA polymerase, so the whole machinery is affected. Ribavirin is effective orally, so that's good. Avoid antacids, however, because that then interferes with the absorption. And is also available in intravenous and aerosol formation, so that's good. Multiple options available, eliminated by the kidneys. It's used usually in combination with either interferons uh, or some other drug. Monotherapy is uh, not very effective. If you only give ribavirin, doesn't work well. Early intravenous administration of ribavirin decreases mortality in viral hemorrhagic fevers as well because I told you it is active against a lot of different viruses, you see. Um, Parainfluenza, influenza A, B, RSV, so many different categories of viruses. This drug has been used. Uh, despite its allergic activity against RSV, ribavirin has been shown to have no benefit in treatment of RSV infection, although it is still recommended by some authorities. So controversial area for RSV. But anyways, for HCV, it is being used. Systemic use uh, result in dose-dependent hemolytic anemia. Aerosol uh, ribavirin may cause conjunctival and bronchial irritation, some side effects. But overall, it's not a bad drug, okay? 
Um, now, it's a known human teratogen. Therefore, it is absolute contraindication in pregnancy. Up to we have drugs, perhaps this one, just Alex okay, that's an absolute contraindication in pregnancy. Okay. Now, some latest drugs, including Jalbivudine, Tenofovir, Sophosbuvir, and Bosiprivir. So, in ke make ek do line and let's see. A nucleoside analog, uh, Jalbivudine, is phosphorylated by cellular kinase to triphosphate form which inhibits the hep so once it enters into the cell cells manipulates it to make uh, it in a triphosphate form which then inhibits the hbv dna polymerase okay then tenofovir is an anti-retroviral drug is also approved for hbv chronic infection and it active against lemividin and anticovid resistant strain so uh, second line army ke taur pe isko use kar le so first um, inhibits rna polymerase in hcv alone or in combination with other drugs so it's a very very high cure rate so it's a good drug bosiprivir is a protease inhibitor in hcv and is used in combination with ribavirin so a few things which you have to memorize actually okay and in pharmacology this is how it is you have to have uh, you know margin for memorization however you have to also understand things now, treatment of hepatitis C infection, there are four current classes. So, up to all the drugs you should be clear what, have been, uh, what we have been discussing, interferons and all these things. Now, some specifics about uh, HCV. There are four current classes of direct acting antiviral agents. In which we call DAAAs. So, direct acting antiviral agents. Okay. Non-structural um, protein protease inhibitors which are categorized as ns uh, protein non-structural okay then there is um, ns non-structural 5b nucleoside polymerase inhibitor and as 5b non-nucleoside polymerase inhibitor and ns 5a inhibitors so yes are different nomenclature aapko pata hona chahiye. the main target for daas are hcv encoded protein that are vital to replication of the virus so basically they interfere with virus multiplication the safety profile of all the combination regimes are generally excellent with adverse effects, uh, events of mild severity and very low rates of discontinuity. So basically, these DAAs are a uh, very good development in the treatment of hepatitis C infection. Okay. Now, I have told there are four categories. Okay. And these four categories, you have to know what are the word that are the most important lines that you have to remember. The first one, NS5A inhibitors. They play a role in both viral replication as well as assembly of HCV. So the virus is basically not able to multiply. However, the exact mechanism remains unclear. Okay, fine. Uh, Declatisavir is used in combination with sofosfavir for treatment of HCV genotype 1, 2, and 3. May be taken with or without food. So these are all the things which you will have to remember. It is primarily metabolized through CYP3A metabolism. It should not therefore be given with inducers or inhibitors which affect this system. Therefore, you have to be very, very careful. Uh, when you drug there, take a very good drug history from the patient. If the patient is taking any inducer or inhibitor of this particular system, cytochrome system, then you have to adjust the doses or maybe opt for some other option. Okay, these are all the drugs almost similar uh, profile as that of Declatisavir. Then NS5B RNA polymerase inhibitors. Um, NS5B is an RNA dependent RNA polymerase involved in post translational processing, uh, which is necessary, mandatory for viral replication. So it's again interfering with the viral replication. Okay. Now, nucleoside nucleotide analogs such as sofosfavir target the catalytic sites of NS5B, which are activated within. Um, the heterocyte through phosphorylation to nucleoside triphosphate which competes with the nucleotides resulting in chain termination so the overall mechanism is again uh, interfering with viral replication okay then ns3 uh, and 4a so you don't know categories exact hai, protease inhibitors these inhibitors um, they are uh, you know inhibitors of ns3 and ns4a serine proteases which is an enzyme involved in post translational processing and replication of hcv so basically these daas hai, they are all interfering with the replication aapko naam pata hone chahiye har class ke aur har class ki examples pata hone chahiye that's important and and a good news about them is they are well tolerated drugs okay now drazoprevir that's a potent pen genotypic protease inhibitor reversibly binding to HS, uh, hcv ka ns3 4a proteases it is distinct from earlier generations 
ड्यू टू इट्स पेन जीनो टाइप काफी सारे जीनो टाइप्स को यह कवर करता है ठीक है नॉट ओनली स्पेसिफिकली जीरो टाइप वन टू और थ्री एज वेल एज एक्टिविटी अगेंस्ट सम मेजर रेजिस्टेंट स्ट्रेन एज वेल सो दैट्स काइंड ऑफ अ न्यू सुपर आर्मेंटेरियम दैट वी एव गॉट इट इज ओनली अवेलेबल इन कॉम्बिनेशन विद एल्बेर for treatment of hcv genotype 1 and 4 although it covers a lot of different genotypes okay it is partially eliminated by oxidative metabolism primarily by cyp3a and therefore you have to be careful with inducers or inhibitors of cytochrome system the most common reported side effect is uh, actually fatigue headache and nausea so it's a overall a well tolerated drug elevations in serum amino transferases may also occur while treating the patient so liver uh, profile derangements and some other drugs such as paritoprevir and uh, simiprevir are similar uh, pharma profile as that of grazoprevir okay so um, so that's all basically about uh, the hepatitis drugs that you have to remember i mean agar aap pharmacology ko achhi approach ke sath padhe you must know what you exactly need to understand then your life will be easy guys itna bhi aisa mushkil kaam nahi hai ki aap jo hai na uh, kar hi na sake aksar log bhagte hain pharma se so that's all about viral hepatitis drugs all the very best subscribe the channel my name is professor asif qureshi and you are watching dr asif lecture